Hi there. What you're looking at is a Samsung and an iPhone. And in fact, we're gonna simulate the iOS operating system on the Samsung S3. And that's what this video is about. I advise you to watch this video very carefully so you don't ask me questions that I already showed in the video. Don't skip this video. I will also call a code in the video and I will only talk to people that write down the code uh, in the comments, you know, so I know that you really watch the video. Because, you know, answering people that in fact um, only come to ask for a ROM, but don't even watch the video and then start asking all sorts of questions that I already spoke about in the video. That is kind of also showing disrespect to me, you know, as the video creator. So let's keep it real and watch this video clearly so you can see how the blue iOS ROM works on the Samsung S3, how it must be installed and that you must be rooted before even thinking of doing this. Okay, if you are rooted and you have a custom recovery installed such as Twerp or maybe um, a Clockwork uh, Recovery, you know, then, or the Clockwork mod, then you will be fine to go, okay? We're gonna hold on the volume, press the, all the keys, let go of the keys and that should bring us into the menu of the twerp recovery that I have installed on this phone. So let's take a look at that. There we are. Okay, this is the twerp recovery. Gonna wait. And we're gonna do a wipe, yeah? You must first do a backup, okay? Do me a favor, do a backup, create a backup. Uh, just go to backup and create a backup of your current install so if you know if it goes wrong that you can go back or maybe you don't like it so you can go back all right we're gonna do an advanced wipe dalfe catch system and data you see that all right so we're gonna wipe okay this room by the way is already online so um yeah you can already get it at our Facebook site. Um, we're gonna install and select storage. We go for the micro SD storage, means the external card on your machine. And then somewhere here we should have the, um, let me see where it is. The 9300 Pokram Blue iOS Motorum based on 4.4 reboot after install so let's go for it what you're looking at is a real-time install this is uh, how it should go on your phone and by the way guys this is only for the Samsung S3 okay and if you want to request a ROM that is also supported by Cyanogen so you must first look if your phone is supported by the Cyanogen mod version 10 or 11, you know, not version 12 or 13 because I cannot create ROMs for that as yet. And when it is supported, you download the ROM, you install it and you test it if it works good. And if you're happy, you know, then you send me the link of the ROM. And then I will tell you exactly what you should do to kind of earn the rum. You must earn the rum, okay? And to earn the rum, you will have to go to our Facebook site and invite 10 or more of your friends to like our Facebook site, okay? And when we see that, you know, your friends liked our Facebook site, then you know, we will start downloading the ROM and start working on it, modeling for you, special for you, and then upload it again, you know, host it for you. So you must see, uh, see these things that we do as also a lot of work for us, you know, and in fact, we're not getting paid. So this is just for fun that we're doing it. So for fun, you should then earn this 
you know if we're gonna do this for you you must earn it you know don't just send me messages create wrong for me can you do this can you do that you know so you must really think of these things before sending me all sorts of messages please watch the video clearly don't skip it if you if you think that my videos are boring please don't don't even watch them you know this video is for people that yeah kind of like adventurous things and want to do some playing with their phones or maybe with their spare phones and they want to learn something so yeah that's what we're doing here you can see the beautiful uh, apple blue screen uh, the boot page is uh, already inserted is flashed into the room so that's really cool also if you do a factory reset you don't have to go flash uh, the ROM or at least the boot animation again it's a fantastic boot animation I find it even more pretty than the original one from Apple and making it blue is also kinda keeping the respect to Apple you know that we're not kinda you know wanted to create something that is exactly as the Apple device I think uh, iLauncher is giving a fantastic illusion already and this is the first error that you will get so don't um, think this is a bad error it's just saying eye control has stopped okay so it did not stop look it's here it's right here you see that it did not stop that is an error it's an error that you will also get it's a bug well it's not an error it's a bug uh, it's a bug that you will also get if you're gonna for instance change your wallpaper up here I have a fantastic app for changing wallpapers okay you will find all sorts of wallpapers here offline you see that we are not online this is not some online app that you know look at all these wallpapers it's fantastic they are in a loop at a certain moment you will get back to you know and then if you like the wallpaper you're gonna get an error again you see that but this error is saying nothing and don't hit report because that report will not come to me <laughs> and cyanogen what has no time to look at these reports anymore so please don't you even send the report so here you can see um yeah we have a beautiful wallpaper already um the next thing that you should do is hit inoti inoti that is uh yeah the inotifier oops you see unfortunately inoti has stopped but it did not it's working just fine okay up here of course you want to put in your own provider because i'm gonna show you something uh, this phone even though uh, it has no um how you call it no no sim card i will show you uh, that you can immediately place calls at least if you also have an account like me and i'm gonna show that in a second to you so sit with us soon you're gonna see how you can use this phone without uh without a sim card okay that's fantastic this is really fantastic and i'm not talking about whatsapp okay i'm talking about this phone the phone that you see here this thing okay so give me a second uh i first want to show you some things um what i installed uh these are uh the normal start menu uh settings settings i mean um yeah calculator this is all standard okay the gallery no big deal the gallery that you know already mm -hmm. so then we go to uh, up here we have Apollo as the music player all right and I also see that we have Spotify I also inserted Spotify for you but there is no internet now so it will not play for you okay NOS for my Dutch people that's the news and uh, NPO that is live TV from the Netherlands of course a market eye control in fact you don't need eye control and eye noti so in fact these apps you can put them at the back here and you could you know in fact put them in there because they start up automatically you don't have to you know start them up all the time an app that you might use want to use and will love is of course the blue light project and the blue light project is uh, something that I'm using myself so that's why I inserted it and this will give you a kind of you know dim dimming light if you're in bed 
and if you just like it the color that you choose you can also you know and then you just hit the little star and then it will go to this setting so it won't be so bright in your eyes it looks really fantastic really i i'm really proud of this what i create too late two weeks later after starting and not knowing anything about this you know that's why i'm making so many videos i'm kind of stuck in the middle of android at this moment and <laughs> I, I just can't seem to get out you know one project after the other now i'm busy with porting a rom i i did not succeed yet so yeah i need help on that probably um of course here you also have um what is this reminders okay so what you can do is hit it double click it change the title and just go ahead and forget the and forget you remove and then it's called reminder you know so you can also rename uh, the name of the icons that is really fantastic right of course as I promised you have your compass so um, yeah, what can I show you more oh, yes Facebook here you have another market also another independent market where you can in fact also get apps this should be as the first icon here somewhere and in fact this one you also don't really need that's the eye launcher you can also put it in the folder there oops in the folder because in fact you only need it if you in fact uh, want to insert some well yeah you don't have to even go here to change the wallpaper because you also already have a beautiful wallpaper app here that will give you the most beautiful uh, iOS 7 and up wallpapers so yeah what can I say? Uh, of course, uh, now I'm gonna connect to the internet, so let's do that. I'm gonna connect to the internet real fast, and when I'm done, I'm gonna get back to you. Welcome back. We are connected to the internet. What I found very important to have in a room, especially rooted users, you know, this uh, this is rooted uh, stuff what we're doing, is the root browser. So you can kind of get into, you know, into the system, and you can make some changes. You can delete stuff immediately so you don't have to worry if you go into let's go back home if you go to system you will find a folder called extra apk files you open that one and up here you will find my briefing you see that open it just open it with the editor Hi there, I added some apps for you and if you want the iOS kind of settings, uh, run the settings app. If you want a colorful settings menu and iOS kind of makeover with other icons, then run Geek OS, etc. I want you to read this all, okay? It's a note from me and of course also Tudor. Up here you can see Geek OS launcher etc i inserted for you the settings free um but i'm not gonna use it because it's in fact the old uh, ios settings so i'm gonna use that if i would uh, uh build uh, the old ios uh, mod for instance but i also have the gcam for you and the g camera in fact that is a nice a nice app to install because it will give you the exact uh, look and feels of iOS camera so let's install it let me show that to you real fast and then I'm gonna show you how to make free phone calls with this device here you can see we have a camera that looks just like the iPhone you can slide it to video you can put it on square etc etc nice eh? okay now you will wonder hey where is the app I don't see it well this is we're going back in time peeps uh, <laughs> if you installed your apps of course by holding the home button you will be able to go to all the apps that you used and maybe also installed and opened to take a look at them but in fact um, what what you uh, must do now to get the apps in the home screen is simply reboot the device so let's do a reboot 
so we can take a look again at the beautiful beautiful boot and well boot page I'm not calling it a boot animation because it's not it's a boot page and uh, yeah. and in fact um, these boot pages I could also change so I could let this screen get red now and then green you know and then at the other color it's then booted up you see so in fact it takes about 12 seconds to boot this android so now that we are booted up you will see that we have the gcam right here see that and of course it's very handy to kind of put the cam here so you always have it with you you see the cam icon is not the same as iphone so that is also showing that this is not the iphone but hey the look and feels are fantastic i think even cuter than a real iphone you know let's not say too loud but no i think this is uh, coming really close to the real thing and i i i think it should not you know be 100 percent it would be very nice but yeah oh yeah one more thing you must turn this on this is the i notify if you're using it because if you don't turn it on then you will not be able to get under under the settings sometimes when you connect to usb you know then of course you want to set the thing for instance if we pull this down you see we only have the i notify a screen but now we want to get under the other one then we slide one more time oops hey hello mm. okay it's back so we slide and then we slide one more time you see that and then we get in the android settings part the quick settings part where you can kind of do all your little stuff that you already know how to do so it's not like a complete journey that you have to learn about this all that you're seeing it's really easy it's just sliding ios and, and android in fact it's not so much difference it's just but uh, ios is kind of straight up you know you don't have to go into a folder and then to get there and then all these widgets you know in fact they are kind of yeah disturbing to some people so this is a nice and quiet screen and it's fantastic that this that a thing like this is possible with the android device so that's why we're doing it for testing and for playing and for you know ciao so that's it all right um about phoning so we are connected to the internet now here you can see your phone it's in no way the same as ios but why shoot it i think this is a beautiful phone when i look at it it makes me happy the white and the blue it gets it makes my heart kind of cha i just love it since i was a child maybe you cannot see it too good but since i was a child i love these colors blue this is making me really happy so i don't have to change it for the one of the iphone but you can really easy with the app okay and that i'm going to show you in a second i i'm also going to show you how to get the colored uh, settings screen but um yeah i did not insert it because i think it's not ready yet but about the phoning so how to place a phone call with this thing if you have a VoIP a foip account well go ahead and Create a VoIP account at VoIP Booster or at uh, 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 just go to VoIPBooster.com and create a account there, you know, and make sure you have an account. Up here you can see several stuff in the phone: speed dial, speed dial settings, etc. Okay, but if you click one back. When you're in this screen you will also see settings you see that hit the settings yeah and up, up here <clears throat> you can choose all sorts of uh, uh, phones you see that and if you go even more down then you will see something saying sip accounts hit the zip account and say add account yeah okay so i'm gonna add my account real fast okay okay welcome back 
<clears throat> if you go to Foy Booster, for instance, or any Finerea company and create an account there, then you can insert your username. You insert your password, and in the server you type sip.foipbooster.com. Okay, and then you hit OK, and then you hit save. All right, now you hit back, and then you uh, must look here. Uh, use internet calling hit that tab and for all calls you see that use internet calling for all calls when data network is available this thing is always on Wi-Fi you know so for all for all calls and now you're done and if you have credits on your account then you can uh, start placing calls and if you well I will show you I will call a number I will call um, oh no I will not call that phone <laughs> oh boy I, I cannot show that right now because in fact the phone that you know <laughs> I'm calling with that I can call with is filming at this moment it's filming this video but now we are connected well um, I'll just call some number uh, 08 no 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 uh, I think I must type 0031 that is the Netherlands and then oh no not, not the O and then 800 let me see um, 12 5 6 9 8 I don't know I just typed something number is unreachable because the number does not exist let me find the free number be right back you know what we're gonna call uh libertel <laughs> uh, 0031 that's my my country number and then 800 and then what is it, the number oh we also have one zero 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 one zero 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 one call Put it on speaker. Welkom bij de verkooplijn van Vodafone. Wij kunnen u op dit moment niet te woord staan. U kunt op... You see that? I can place phone calls now. 0031 800 1, 2, 3, 4. This should be some company. Number unreachable. 0800 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh... Yeah, here are all the numbers, but you, you already saw it's working. It's working, you know, and I have no SIM card in this phone. For those thinking, oh, he has a SIM card in there, you see. There's no SIM card, only a micro SD card. In here, you should put the SIM card. Okay, see, there's no SIM card. So I'm not lying. So there is a built-in VoIP phone in this thing. And I think that is really fantastic. You know, this is the Vodafone. You have the speaker function. And it works. Welcome by the verkooplijn van Vodafone. Wij kunnen u op dit moment niet te woord staan. We don't even have a SIM card. So, tja, this is not thanks to this room. This is thanks to Cyanogen. And thanks to, you know, whatever phone they, they use, the app. So it's fantastic for those uh, didn't know. Uh, you can also receive calls if you have an inbound number. I have an inbound number to receive calls for this thing. So I can just use this thing as, as a house phone. You know, I can be called. And if I have a 3G uh, card in here, I can also place and receive calls at all time without any SIM card in this phone. Fantastic, huh? Ciao. I really like it. I hope you like it as well. I have this room um, on our Facebook site. I think I'm gonna put the link right here. Of course, WhatsApp is installed. Not to forget about the firewall. By the way, this is not the paid version of the firewall. You will have to pay for that yourself. This is the free version and you can block up to seven apps. All right? So, yeah, just letting you know. All right? Um, 
Oh yeah, another thing that is very, very important. Oh, please, please do it for me, people. Also, if you are on your normal normal phone, I showed it in my previous video. Some that saw that video uh, already, they know about this already, but please go ahead and get yourself CM security. I, I, I really, I, I want you to do this, okay? I think it's also in the, in the package, in the APK package folder. I'm not sure, but up here you go for the light version. It's light and the antivirus. Up here you will get a root check question. And this is nobody else than the market that is asking you the root check. Don't give it, just say cancel, okay? Install the app yourself. Just hit yourself, next, 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 next. So you can also read what the app is using and if the app must be blocked from using anything you see it's getting orange so that means we have at least one problem and this is the safe browsing you see that the safe browsing is disabled enable it boom safe browsing is now enabled also if you're you know on any version of android get this app do yourself a favor get this app and fix your phone you know, it's it's going really fast with, with, you know, phones getting outdated and they must be patched. And this app is helping you to, you know, to fix your phone. It's kind of, yeah, patching these holes. Well, I don't have to show you so much anymore. The app brain, tja. Up here you can get uh, apps. You can log in with your account. Up here, improved, no thanks. These guys, they want to, you know, collect some information. You can also give it to them. But up here, you will see that uh, you have different apps that, oh yeah. And uh, by the way, you know what I'm thinking of at this moment? You know, I'm thinking of that if at this moment we, um, oh wait, 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 oh wait, wait, wait. I, I, I just got a fantastic idea. What we can do is very simple. Um, we have all this power on board to do that. What we do is we go here to system. Okay. We go to system and we go to app. And we're going to look the app up. I'm not sure if this is going to fix it. We're going to copy the app. Copy. And then we go to our external CD uh, SD card and we paste it on there. We give root permission and we paste it on there. So what we're now going to do, we're just going to install it again. Where is it? Oh yeah, of course, <laughs> of course we will not see it yet because um, we need to reboot. But now I'm not sure what's going to happen if I go to system so we don't have to reboot. I'm going to cheat a little bit and we go to app. And we look it up the app here i control we just gonna uninstall no i don't want to uninstall it will it delete it well it can delete it no problem okay unsuccessful so um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna here delete this app i already copied it right so i deleted it and we're gonna do a reboot I think I found I found the fix for the bug that when you change the wallpaper you get that the eye control center has, has stopped. I think I just found the fix for it. So I'm gonna share that immediately with you so you can fix one of the errors yourself. So you don't have to, yes, but uh, the error is and you know. So what we're gonna do now as you can see, we have no eye control now. So we're just gonna go and install it again. I think that should fix the problem. We go to the external CD card, SD card, and eye control center should be here. You see that eye control? We install it. Boom, 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 boom. And we open it. Boom. Skip, skip, boom. What is this? Back, start surface. 
uh, only thing that you must do config configure touchable areas touch the mid and make this nice and small you see that and this should go not there why are you there mm -hmm. center I don't want you there well let's see what's gonna happen Oh, of course, we will not see it now. There it is. Um, control center style. Flop. No, 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 no. Not that uh, configure touchable area. That is good. There you go. And then this. this you see it's nice in the middle now so this should do it and if it's not here yet oh there it is so now we're gonna change a picture and see if we're gonna get this problem again set as wallpaper doom you see that no more error we just fixed the error while making the review we fixed the error peeps so now you just fix the rom yourself as well if you do this what i just did so that is how to fix uh the eye control uh has stopped error so yeah i'm not sure if you're gonna get other errors i did not get them yet uh, this rom is working really good for me also battery life is good and uh, i think it's a real fine rom so go ahead test it out only for the s3 at this moment and for some other phones uh, i think i created it also for the s2 plus it's running the same rom here it is this is the s2 plus running exactly the same rom and we'll get exactly the same fix for the eye control center we're gonna uninstall it or at least copy it first to the sd card or to a place where we can get to it so we have two of them then delete the one in in in, in system app delete it reboot your system install the other one and you will have a good working eye control center this one is not even running so i'm gonna set this up later peeps i want to thank you for watching i hope you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like even though i turned off the thumbs ups we can still see them so give this video some love talk about it share the idea and let us know what you think of it and how you would like to see it improve